We need to assemble the press by removing the lock screw that holds the piston and the piston locking device in place. We will take the lower die block head with the dies inserted, make sure they move and they're lubricated properly. All of the fittings are in place. We take the slotted portion of the lower die block and put it on the press. Assemble the locking block back into the holes. Tighten the 3 16 Allen screw. And with that, the lower die block is installed. Now we're going to raise the hoist with the safety lanyard. The swivels on all four corners of the handles of the press are rated for 1,100 pounds capacity. The press itself weighs 150 pounds. You can't handle the press with two people. We recommend using a lifting device. So, continued assembly of the press. Fitting to make sure that it's tight because if an air gap were to become lodged in the hose, you could lock the press up. For the compression of the 115 ton press, we use a SPX peanut pump. Uh, the safety valve is loose, as you can see, to prevent lockup with an air gap. So now we're going to move to the piece of bus to be compressed. We're going to be using today a six inch fitting. This is a coupler. It is a SWC600-AA. That stands for suede coupler, six inch, made all aluminum. All of our fittings come capped and preloaded with AFC compound. Which it is a patented formula and AFL makes the, the product. What we will do now is clean the bus and in doing so I recommend the use of a stainless steel wire brush and Scotch-Brite to remove grease, fingerprints and so forth from material before compression so that you have a good contact surface. You can see the pin on the, the gauge itself and the min max window. We will use the pin to place on the edge, the end of the bus piece. Take a magic marker and make what we consider as a window to insert the fitting over the bus to a midpoint of this window. The reason we do this marking with the coupler is to prevent two pieces of bus from touching once they're inside of the coupler. Gain a flexing motion in your bus and you will have a sweeping motion in your bus. The small side of the gauge has three tips on it as you can see. You place the gauge over the bus and it will not fit the bus. If it does fit the bus, then you probably have an off-size piece of bus. We've removed the, case, the cap from the fitting. We're going to slide the coupler over the bus pipe to the center of this window. Now we're going to lower the compression tool onto the coupler itself using the inside lines first and then moving to the outside lines. You want to make the swage or the 360 degree compression inside first.
using the peanut pump it will kick in a neutral at 10,000 PSI. Want to take the compression gauge on the large size? It will not fit anywhere on the coupler except where you made your swage compression so that you check it 360 degrees. So you check the side and the top. 